massive gap where the mecha, where the uh, anti mecha. Come on, Richard. Hello and welcome to the D20 Future Show. I'm, as always, your host and GM, Richard. Previously on the D20 Future Show, you hear a siren sound, blue lights start to flash, and a heavy door comes slamming down behind you, and you are sealed into the room. Well, you attempt to lift the <laughs> heavy metal door, but your hands slip against it, and you make no impression on the door whatsoever. Let's go down this ominous corridor that's clearly a trap. I take my gun out and I shoot the drone. <laughs> yeah. You hit the drone. The drone drops out of the sky and shows no signs of action or life. You owe me a new drone. You see a large room with a series of booths down the right hand side. You're... I am in the drones. You crack it against the wall. Yeah. You see the whole length of it lights up blue. Yeah. As Four drones drop out of the ceiling mm. and roll for initiative. Amazing. Buddies go. Buddy says, yeah, get them! And leaps to try and bite this drone. And it just drops down. And he's now just holding it like a frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> the drone spins round and shoots at Tim. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20, roll again. Wow. 18. 18, yep, that's a critical hit. 22 points 22 of points damage. Of damage. And it just splinters into a thousand pieces. <laughs> Buddy says, Yeah, drone saw! So, the team is still stuck inside the Alfir base. What will they find there? More drones? Probably. Well, let's find out on the next episode of The D20 Future Show. Can I try and see if I can repair any of Buddy's injured? Uh, you don't know enough about the okay, way Buddy so works fine. to have any idea whether yeah. or not you can repair him. See, I could if someone wasn't so nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> you actually refusing medical care to Buddy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bitterness. That is, you crossed the line there. Ahead of you, there is a corridor that opens up. It's quite a long corridor and it's got sort of doorways and passageways either side. You're going to head down the passage. Yeah. Uh, as yeah. you make your way down the corridor, I've lost health in that combat. <laughs> you still have more than me. You see. Just... Oh, sorry, how much health do you have? Twelve. 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 At least you're still in double figures, right? <laughs> All right, moving on. Oh, there's somebody on nine. <laughs> eight. 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 <laughs> eight. Oh, Richard. Oh, oh. That, that, that's oh. a reminder. Actually. Shall we heal everyone else that can be healed? <laughs> Is anybody who else took? I mean, I'm still damaged from the I have fight, five tree I'm, injuries. I'm in fight and fit condition. Oh, I have right. five tree injuries if you want. If you want some help. But you can't treat. You can only treat injury once per day. So I have not done uh, it yet, though. It's no, 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 treat more. someone out. Someone. <laughs> so injury. Steve has had all the healing he's going to get today. Oh, I, I oh, can right. treat everyone else's injuries. Oh. And someone can treat my injuries. Is that you asking? Whoever's got the next most highest <laughs> tree <five>. injury. Not me. Go on then. Go on, because I'm a nice person. Yeah, you need ten. Oh, seven. Seven. Doesn't so matter. you kind of plus, try and... Plus five? Plus five is... Yeah, that's why you needed a ten. Oh, okay. So you try and treat his injuries, but you, you don't get anywhere. Oh, if well, anything, I'm, you sort of I'm, slightly I'm, hurt I'm him. going to try and... How much damage have you guys taken? I've taken six. So, six. You could so I can still yeah. treat you as much as I can, and you've taken... Yeah, again, seven. more than enough for yeah. D4s worth yeah. of damage. Okay. So if I try and treat both of their injuries. Oh, so is it, can you only receive? You can receive, you can... But you can give out... Yeah. Out. 5 plus 12. So yep. Tim so recovers d4 hit points. Do I roll or does... Uh, Ian rolls. Ian rolls. Hey. Two. 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 You recover two. You can also attempt to... Back up to 30. Treat Henry. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's nice. Despite his... Uh, Despite his not necessarily <laughs> successful attempt to you. <laughs> Uh, 9 plus 12. Yep, that's successful. <laughs> he goes up 4 hit points. Sorry? Oh, sorry, D4 hit uh, points. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you might get a 4. Three. 3 hit points. Thank you. you got 3. You're going to have another go at treating Ian. Can I? You can try again because you didn't succeed. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Yeah. It works. <laughs> I got 12. <laughs> yeah, that's a successful one. So, uh, where's it? Uh, so you've D4, D4 hit points. Uh, 3. 3. three. You got 3 You're hit welcome. points. Back up all right, That's so fine. you've all received healing. Yes. So wow. none of you can receive any more healing checks so far Don't for the rest of today. He says gleefully. <laughs> <laughs> to the left, 
There are three corridors off this main corridor. To the right, you can see an open 10 foot wide pair of double doors. Further down, you can see like an alcove in which case, in which there may be some more doors. The corridor turns to the right. What's beyond the double doors? And the you can't see because you haven't gone that far down the corridor yet. And right at the end, you can see there is also a small door at the end of the corridor. I turn to Buddy and say, Buddy, have you ever been here before? No memory! No memory! Can't remember! Should, should remember! I, I don't know! Stupid dog. On the wall is a panel. Most of it is scratched off and damaged. You can see some letters at the bottom written in Alfia, which Ian translates as, you are here, I and there's an arrow that. pointing up, uh. but the map is so damaged that you can't actually make anything out. Where do we go, Steve? Uh... Well, let's just pop our head around the corner of the double doors and just have a <laughs> gander at what's in there Great. before we bullet. I'll okay. cautiously walk up. As, as you, you're going to, you're going to cautiously walk up and put your head around the doors. Yeah. So they're glassed hinged doors, and they're just all the way open. In it, you can see a uh, what looks like a reception desk, very similar to the one that first room you encountered, but it's much smaller. It's only about ten feet long. You can see a glass door to an office on your left, and there's a corridor on the right with partitions, and you can't see any further down without going into the room. Uh, like Richard's uh, this, this smiling. Is a, this is a very really. big dungeon crawl here, isn't it? <laughs> so there were there were drones in this reception room. Chances yeah. are there were probably drones in this one. What's in the corridor? Yay, the drones! <laughs> I, do we split up? Do we stay together? Let's split I'm up. Just, I'm just watching. Good Richard. things happen when you split up. <laughs> I've seen many programs where lots happens when you split up, at least. Uh, is it Scooby Doo that you've been watching? <laughs> I'm running through doorways. Well, we have a dog. <laughs> That's true. There we go, we're renaming him to Scooby Doo. <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> My name is Buddy! So, so Scooby Doo exists in this universe if Buddy can <laughs> put his head on this. Yeah, Scooby Doo is still on. <laughs> <laughs> the longest running program in Galactic <laughs> Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby what? <laughs> okay, baby. Um, um, well, we so, what are you suggesting then? Do we just ignore this room or do we go in just prepared? I, I think we've I'll, got to, I'll follow whatever you we'll, say, we'll, boss. We've got to scan it out. I'm not the boss. Henry's the <laughs> boss. We've, we've, we've got to go somewhere. <laughs> let's oh, let, let, let's wow. go in. Let's try and have a look around. We're going to have to have a chat when we get back to him. We've got some, some issues here. <laughs> All right, so Ian, you're going to make your way in? I'm just going to go in. Okay, you're going to walk uh, yeah. right up to the reception desk? Yeah, go and look at the reception the desk. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have oh, a, I'm going to investigate the reception desk. <laughs> Will there be a second electro bomb? <laughs> okay, as you come up to the desk, you can see that uh, there's nothing on the desk. If there's any computers, either it's been removed or it was integrated into the desk, and you can't see any sign of it. Okay. Uh, and you can see the glass door into an office. Along the corridor, you can see on your left a series of cells with barred doors. And on the right hand side, you can see a turret. Mm -hmm. You see no signs of life from that gun turret. That is all. <laughs> what do you mean by out of here and uh, walk away quickly? What do you mean by gun turret? As in, like, is it a remote controlled sort of turret? It's, it's sort of about maybe four or five feet tall. Top of it is domed. There's one barrel sticking out of it. So kind of like a Dalek. Does it look like it has to be uh, manned? <laughs> no. So it looks like it's probably an automated system. Okay. And it is very much like a well, very much like the top of a Dalek. Dome at the top door. Just like this red one. The Dalek on Richard's light. A bit like light. the top yes. door Dalek on the top of my little light. <laughs> yes. Um, and if we want any sponsors from Doctor Who or the BBC, <laughs> and if the BBC <laughs> wish to sponsor us, um, we'll use our program on the radio. We like Doctor Who. Um, used to well, what's in the office? You said there's an office. There's an office. Yeah, you gonna go into the office? I pop my head into the office. You're going to so lean into the office. You can see, <laughs> hey. again, what looks like uh, a quite kind of ancient-looking office chair. Whatever the covering was has corroded away. It's just now a metal frame with some dust. You can see, again, a sort of flat <laughs> desk. Again, with no sign of any computer or anything. Any paperwork or...? Uh, no, no paperwork anywhere. Do you want to make a search of the office? Yes. All right, roll a d20. Ten? Dropped under the desk, so you couldn't see it from just looking in, but because you come run in, you see what looks like an old wristwatch. Ooh. It's... Uh, you get an electric uh, whip. 
you get a wristwatch. Your lucky day. <laughs> yeah. If you wish to pick it up, you can pick up the wristwatch. Sure. You pick it up. Why not? You gonna put it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I found this to Steve. Okay. Great. Can I? Do can I have a look at it? See if there's any Alfie or Yatne writing on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust so. Richard. Do you so? <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. I feel I need to take my wristwatch. <laughs> I'm scared. You've done something to this. <laughs> are, are there any, is there any inscriptions on it, is it? There are 13 markers all the way around, which makes sense 13. to each of you, because you know that there's a 26-hour day here on Neoville. Those markers don't, don't mean anything to either of you. You can see behind it is a, it's a glass display with lines on it with a kind of beautiful pattern Ooh. that you can see indicates roughly the time as, as, as you understand it, which is sort of maybe late morning, maybe early, early kind of lunch time. Can I investigate it? Yeah. Roll a d20. 10 plus 6. Okay, so you can see that uh, the mechanism is in between the metal links. You can see there's maybe some machinery underneath it. Okay. You don't you don't recognise it. It's it, you know, looks beyond the the technology available to uh, you know back in your home system. You you can't tell whether it's uh, some sort of adjustable strap or, or or quite what it is. You can see there are some sensors underneath the, the watch strap, metal contacts. Probably your heart rate. Richard's either doing very, very well to hide what's going on, or it's just a lot. While, while he's I'm, investigating, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find out if any more drones that actively Okay, so, so you're, you're actively searching in, in the just in the kind of lobby and office area? Yeah. Yep. Where, 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 D20? 16. 16, okay, I really should do these rolls for you, because you know that you've succeeded. Yeah, uh, you could, you, as, you, as you look around, you, you can't see any signs of, of any kind of anything hostile except drones the turret. Do, yeah. Which, <laughs> as far as you can tell, is showing no it's signs of life. <laughs> uh, as you look up at the ceiling, it's kind of false ceiling as you'd expect uh, for kind of cover up insulation and so on. Pretty much as you'd expect, you can't see any kind of any flaws in it or anything that would indicate sort of trap doors or, or anything like that. You, you feel pretty safe. Cool. I stick my head out and go, We found this watch thing. Is there anything down in that corridor with the cells in it? Other than the turret? The turret is just at sort of level with the first cell, so you didn't see it okay. until you came right into the room. There's like a, there's a wall. It's just behind that. Okay. Oh, so it's not at so the end. It's it's not, so it's not at the end. Yeah. So it's if you right. were to start walking as you stand level with the first cell, it's immediately on your right. Can I see into the first cell then? From where Are you, you going to walk up to the first cell? In line of sight with the turret. I, I'm already <laughs> in line of sight of the turret. Oh, I can okay. see the turret. Okay. I'm presuming anyway. Yeah. So you want to walk right up to the first cell to have a look at it. I'll walk up with you. I'll get you back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All hands when you go. <laughs> skip. You can just skip up the end. <laughs> so. can, can, can I walk up very carefully? Okay. Like, yeah. lo lo looking out for any traps or anything along yeah, the way. Yeah, that's fine. Ian, what's your defence? <laughs> Fifteen. Defence is... Is it now fifteen? It was yes. always fifteen. Oh, it's gone up. Not your hit points, your defence, yeah. Your defence yes. is 15. Right yeah, okay. You feel, as you as you lean into the first cell, you hear the turret activate. <coughs> it uh, fires and you feel a round strike you in the small of the back. And you Ow. take six points of damage. Oh! Then you ever play Portal? Yeah. Yes. No, I've never played it, but I've seen the video. Yeah. Uh, let's roll for initiative. I see it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Five. Poor farm guys. Poor farm. Five plus one. Six. Four plus two. Six. <laughs> okay, so who rolled the biggest natural number? Me. I'm in the office still. You, you're still in the office? No, no, All right, no, you just can't, can't hear any of this. All right. Well, well you can hear it. Not you just hear it. Hear it. Um, <laughs> okay, that is fair enough. Right Ian, now. after being struck in the small of the back, you spin round. I'm right next to this turret now, aren't I? You are. You're. You're very close to it. You're not. You'd have to walk up to it if you want to use your bullwhip. I. I want to use my bullwhip. <laughs> okay. You walk right up to it. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Wa I'm walking up to the turret and using my. As bullwhip. you do so, Ooh. it gets an attack of opportunity. <laughs> what is a turret? <laughs> Taser electrodes fly out of it. They bounce off your whip as you pull it out. Oh, that's uh, cool. And and fall away. 
Electricity you, you swipe them aside with your whip and you attack. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I am nope. re- re- really, really bad. <laughs> However, the whip gets tangled up in the, uh, in the uh, so taser strings. Just fumble the attack. And you fumble the attack. The whip flails uselessly away from the turret. If I just I did that, then it'd be fine. <laughs> wrench it off. Okay, you're going to run right up to the turret? Okay. Or like behind it? Oh, or it's, it's, it's in a corner against the wall, okay. there's no behind it. So you're going to run right up to it? Run right up to it. Okay, and as it does so, it sh- attempts to shoot you with its tasers. Ah. And it does. It, uh, so you feel the electrode yeah. strike against you, and uh, you take three points of damage. Minus two. Is it's one it? point of damage, and... Yeah. Give me a fortitude save. That is a 12. And that's a 12. A While fun. you feel for a moment oh. paralysed by the oh. electricity coursing through your body, you are able to keep it together and you don't fall down because you're so rock hard. Yeah. Let's have a d20 for you just grabbing hold of the turret. So it's 14 plus whatever your strength bonus is. Two is 16. Two is 16. You grab hold of it, give me a d20. Cool, can I use an action point on this? Yes, you can. Roll a d20 and a d6. That's a five. That's a five. You you just wrestle against the barrel. It turns really ostensibly to get to lock target on uh, Ian again. But as it does so, you're kind of flung across the room. Give me a reflex save. A lot of rolls in one turn, guys. No kidding. Uh, that's and, five. and you are actually sent, really you're sent skittering along the corridor and you're left the wind knocked out of you lying on your stomach just two or three cells down oh. <laughs> <laughs> the turret <laughs> turns to face Ian again and Please. misses the round oh. pings in and around the, the cell, <clears throat> it's one of these big rubber rounds, very similar to the drone's fire, uh, but doesn't hit you. Ian. All right. I'm holding this for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> He's indicating an action point counter. <laughs> and I'm giving this to you. Right. I am attacking this thing with my bullwhip. Okay, so you take a step towards it and whip with your bullwhip. I'm not taking a step anymore. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're right. Stood around next to it. Okay, yeah. Um... 19. 19. Your bullwhip crackles against it. Let's see, 3d8. 9. 9 points of damage. The whole thing just sparks with electricity. The lid actually pops off and drops back down again. And there's a mushroom cloud of smoke. (laughs) (laughs) And it doesn't look like the the turret is in business anymore. (laughs) Good work. That bullwhip's amazing. <laughs> Far away, you start to hear a wooga, a wooga, a wooga, a wooga. We come out of the office. Did you find anything, guys? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tim, what are you doing on the floor? I don't know. Just chilling. <laughs> just catching my breath, you know. I feel as though this is the wrong time to do it, but should we just have a quick check of these cells while we're here? <laughs> is that, is that alarm <laughs> still <laughs> cells? Is that alarm still going off? Yeah, what just very do? faintly and in the background you can hear a wooga, a wooga, a wooga. Can we have just a quick cursory glance through each of the cells just to check uh, there's nothing? Yeah, the sort that gives you, you want to do a proper search with it or just want to literally just take a look in each of them? Is there um, anything that's worthwhile searching? Yeah, that, 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 that's my thought. Out while these guys okay, are as you keep a look out, you're gonna you're gonna search each cell in turn. Okay. Yeah, go on. All okay. right, so D twenty roll. Are, are you doing the search then? Instead of I've got a I've got eight search. searches. Yeah, go on then. Fifteen plus eight, twenty three. Okay. Yep. Right. So in the first two cells, you see that they are spotlessly clean, <sighs> but otherwise there is nothing in there. There's a sort of bed. Uh, it seems to be soft to the touch, but otherwise. There's, it's seamlessly built into the walls. Yeah. And the third cell? Oh, There's a 13 plus 8, so 21. 21. In the third cell, you can see there is also absolutely nothing. <sighs> 7 plus 8, 13? 15? 13. Okay, in 15, this one, 15. you can see that there is a small <clears throat> oh. blue jumpsuit laid out on the bed as if the person has sort of disappeared. Do you want to go up to it? Do you want to have a look? I don't have a lot of hit points. Tim? 
You have more than me, I assume. You always look at this. You have the more, he, more than anybody. He's, he's, yeah. in, he's on I'm, lookout. I'm keeping lookout. I'll, so I'll, 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 I'll go in and have a look. So, Ian, can, are you going to pick up the jumpsuit? Y- yeah, why not? As you do so, a load of dust falls out, Ooh. which you suspect may well have been Ooh. the previous occupant. Hey. Uh, roll a d6. D6. Please. <coughs> you get the heebie-jeebies. You two. Choke. Two. Choke okay. It, you realise it's about your size. You can see insignia on it that mark it out as clearly from Alpha military, very possibly from their either their correction or training department. I, I can read right back. Yeah. Okay, can I? Yeah. So, so you, 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 you un- interpret the kind of the markings on it. So it's not it's not like it's got written down the side, this jumpsuit belonged to an Alfia prisoner <laughs> that was arrested by the Alfia military police. But you can you interpret that kind of yeah, sense yeah. from the symbols that you recognise. Okay. And uh, maybe some of the acronyms. So it's just like a prison jumpsuit. Yeah. So I'll um, grab it and let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it and go. <laughs> Alright, if you want to put uh, Alfia prison jumpsuit in your inventory. You get all the exciting things. Who's got the watch, by the way? You've still got the watch. So you're still you... holding the watch. I've got it in my inventory with a question mark after it. Just... When you were talking to me before, I wrote down watch question mark in my inventory. All right. In the wrong bit, I'd like to point out. I put it in talents, but you know, we'll gloss over it. <laughs> <laughs> you put it back in inventory what? now. Yeah. Your talents. You're so good at watching <laughs> things. <laughs> You've actually taken your watch away. <laughs> 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 level of mistrust is no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fully tracked your actual watch. Are you going to put on the, the Alfie watch? Why not? As you put it on, you feel a sort of gentle... I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, so there we go. as you put on the watch, you feel maybe a gentle tremble from the watch itself. You okay. feel it tighten gently around your wrist. But For a like... moment, it's just maybe a little bit too tight. Okay. And then loosens a bit. You feel a tingle, and then you can see on the display it lights up with now your heartbeat, cool. which is maybe just a little bit elevated. You're a little bit nervous <laughs> as it tightens yeah. around you. You can see a lovely sort of cityscape in the display, and it lights up with roughly the time, telling you it's, it's maybe around midday. It's a damn fine watch. That's nice. Yeah. So if you so want to cross out the question mark, it's, it's just, just a watch just now. Nothing. You've got an Alfie watch. I'll leave it in talents as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah. Stop laughing. Uh, you do have an inventory. St- I know, but it's up there. Yeah. It's especially talents are down here. It's closer to my head. Right, let's have a gander back out in the corridor. So, so as you come straight out, ob- obviously one. directly ahead of you, the three are a set of shut doors in a kind of recessed into a corridor it's maybe 20 foot deep to your left is the uh, sort of entry lobby where you were ambushed by those drones like uh, to your right is the rest of whatever this facility is what do Henry what woman do I wasn't listening where next basically there's a Door at the end of the corridor. I'm busy admiring my watch. I'm, I'm going to say. There's a small corridor. Door at the end of the corridor. Small. Words, mouth, noise. Should we go down the first <laughs> corridor? So you're just going to go straight ahead. Yeah. As you reach the doors, they don't react in any way. They are they're shut. They're steel doors. Obviously, hinge open doors. They look very much like the glass ones that are now behind you, but they don't open. They don't open. They do not open. Can we knock on them? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. You you knock up and you hear a kind of clanging sound. What have you done? Richard looks excited. <laughs> Give me a listen check. Just him. Or? Yeah. Uh, well, in, well, we're all oh, there. Oh, yeah. Only Steve has walked right up to it. Okay. okay. So you give me a listen check. Uh, Nineteen plus four. Oh, okay. So okay. you hear what's? It's, it's obviously quite a large, echoey space. Right. Maybe. With some quite hard surfaces, as you hear the, the your knock echo around. Oh, you, like, it sounds like a large echoey room with lots of flat surfaces. Maybe it's a hangar or something. Sounds fun. I like the sound of a hangar. Well, how do we get in? Shoot the door down. <laughs> Is what there a, like a control panel around the door? Or? No. No, it's just a closed. Steel it's just door. a closed steel door. No handles is it, or anything. Is it closed from, is it like a... No, so it's, it's a s- normal, like we would understand, swing door. Oh, cool. Can I try and... Yeah, can we try and pull yeah. it open? No, I'll try and force it open. You try and force it open? All right, give me a strength check. 
19. 19. You, as plus you, two tiny. Plus, as you struggle against it, you feel it maybe give a tiny amount, but they do not open. I don't think we still going to budge. Do you always shoot it? <laughs> Or like I <laughs> but he's got a cute, cool grenade blowing up doors thing that he displayed to us a while ago. I step back from the door. <laughs> I'm just going to make step back in the office. <laughs> I'm just going to leave. Shall we go game. down the other corridors? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, can through. you open this door? Can I open which door? This what door. What door? Uh, that door? That I to it's a closed door. I can't open the closed door. Okay, Never thanks mind. anyway, buddy. You're welcome. Yeah, right, let's, ex- let, let's explore one of the other corridors. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> as, as you make your way further down, this uh, the main corridor, to your left, you see a long corridor with, one, two, with maybe four or five doors on the left, two doors on the right. Uh, they're all closed. Do knock it all around. Knock it over Right. <laughs> shall, shall we start trying doors? This one runs through dun dun dun. Right. <laughs> As you get to the first door on your left, you can't see any handle. It's obviously a door, again, it's a hinged door, but it doesn't move. It doesn't move in either direction. In either place. direction, you can't okay. see any handle or sensor let's, or anything. Let's keep going. Alright. On the next door, as you open, there are two beds. This looks like some kind of sleeping quarters. Mm-hmm. You see two very similar beds to that in the cells but with a covering of dust. There is between the two, there's a pair of bedside cabinets. Okay, Uh, should we quickly check the bedside cabinets? Just open them. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. As As you open the first one, uh, it's it's made of quite elderly wood. Uh, The handle just comes off in your hand, but the door swings open and you see stuffed into it a small bag. Okay. Check the bag. Uh, you open the bag. The bag itself is, is empty, but for, again, a fair amount of dust. It's uh, Alfie military colours. It's it's a, a rucksack, two straps, adjustable. No obvious way of adjusting them, but it's a rucksack. Probably does it itself like the watch. It, 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 is a rucksack going to be helpful in any way, shape or form? Yeah, well, let's carry stuff. It allows to carry more stuff. Do we not already have the ability to use a rucksack? No, no, you've got pockets on, on your survival suit, but no, uh, no rucksack. Well, I'll put a rucksack on. Okay, as you put it on, it tightens ever so slightly across your chest. <gasps> Loosens again. Uh. <laughs> it fits very comfortably. You almost forget it's on as soon as you put it on. So Excellent. if you want to put rucksack in your inventory. I'm starting to like outfits. It's cool. <laughs> Rus- what? what? Sorry, what? Huh? There's a rucksack in his inventory. So when you look at the things he has, one of the things that he has is a rucksack. Uh, but within that rucksack is... Uh, within that rucksack wait, can be like, things. I don't have a bag with me then, so I am carrying around with me. So <laughs> this is my story, just... <laughs> yeah, just in a pocket. In a pocket of your survival suit. Survival pocket book. It's, uh, it's, no, it's one of those... It's quite a large pocket. It's a, the, the, the survival suit is covered in handy, expanding pockets. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we have first aid kits in these pockets. True. Next room? Yeah. Oh, next. Or next bedside. Next bedside. Ne- ne- next bedside. <laughs> okay, so as you go through. So there's nothing in the next one. As you go to the next room, you see uh, just lying on top of the cabinet, there is a notebook Ooh, covered in. Notebook. Scribbled writing that none of you can read. I'm assuming you're all coming into each of these rooms, by the way. Let me know if you're not. I'll, I'll stay by the door. Okay, you just stay stays guard. In. Fair enough. Uh, you that. notice yeah. there's Alfie writing. Yeah. As you open it and begin to try and read it, it's it's not very good handwriting. It's actually quite bad grammar as well. But they're technical notes about weapon systems and in particular Ooh. techniques on how to repair them. If you want to add a repair Ooh. notebook, I, I'm, I'm definitely keeping that one. Yep, you're going to pop that in your rucksack. Okay, repair notes. Or in, in your inventory. Or just or your in, a, in a pocket, pocket. that's fine. Repair notes. <laughs> Word, so they notes. are, yes, yeah, schematics of weapons and with labelled diagrams and notes as to how they work. On one of the pages, you recognise. Sorry? I'm assuming you're leaf th- leafing through it? Yes. Yep, yes, as, as you do so, as everyone maybe stands around a bit potentially, uh, Henry might, might even look at his watch. He sees a lovely river oh, displayed on it. I imagine my heartbeat dropped. Yeah, your heartbeat has yeah. is, is, is calmed yeah. somewhat. So as, that, as you that, flick that through this notebook, right, one of them you recognise, uh, it's entitled Gauss Weapon, mm. and you see quite detailed schematics that look like they may well match up with your personal Gauss Weapon. Excellent. Check 
Can I have a leaf to do that as well? Just because I'm like, I, I, I won't I'm, be able to read it, will I? You can read out here. I can read out. I can. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I was talking to. Um, mm. Mm. Wait, Ian's got it. So oh. if if you want Ian to show you that, oh, we'll go through it later. Oh. I've got because I can't read it. Uh, knowledge. Mm. So. You, Steve, know about the Althea Yatnal War. Not as much as Ian does, but you have I, studied I some history. I have eight ranks in the Althea Yatnal War. <laughs> Ian is a bit of an expert. Okay, as you check the further one more room on the left, you can see that there is nothing more in there except, as you see, yep. empty bedside cabinets, two beds, layers of dust. Excellent. Rooms on the other side? When you look at the rooms on the other side are maybe a little bit larger. Okay. A little bit better appointed. You can see maybe what looks like it might be a screen built into the wall. It's black. 16 plus 3. Ian spots, maybe in tucked room. in, just in fact just behind one of the cabinets, uh, a small sealed packet of what he reads on the front is a breakdown of a meal. Roast cow, savoury pudding, starchy tuber, vegetable liquid. This is what the label says. Might as well take it. Okay, if you want to add <laughs> military <laughs> rations to your list. We didn't bring any food or water with us. No, we? Mm. no, you didn't. Roast cow. Mm. So stupid, guys. Uh, no, I realise that's beef, provisions. but. Provisions. <laughs> now we've got oh, rations. Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> take them. <laughs> So the team now have some food, but do they have enough Russians to survive? Will they find a way out of the Alfia base? What else is waiting for them, deeper inside the facility? Find out next time on the D20 Future Show. If all they needed was a map of the reception, we'd have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Do you know what I should have done? It should have been intact until one of the drones shot it. You didn't notice it. That would have been much funnier.